What is a young writer? Well, that might be one. Uh, called Gareth Toku I was born in South Dunedin and I attended King's High School, which is renowned for its fine literary greats such as James K. Baxter and Hone Koka. Uh, as Aaron said, I'm now with the Dunedin Fringe Arts Trust and we produce uh, the New Zealand Young Writers Festival. So the first New Zealand Young Writers Festival was held in 2015. The concept was borrowed from Australia where the National Young Writers Festival has been held annually in Newcastle since 1988. So a delegation from the Australian uh, Festival attended our first New Zealand Festival and strong links between the New Zealand and Australian festivals remain. So our second ha festival happened in 2016 and this is the programme launch. Uh, we delight in using found spaces for our venue. So this is the University Bookshop uh, dock. Dunedin is a city of collaborators and in addition to providing the venue, UBS are one of the many key supporters who enabled the festival to happen. We move on to uh, 2017 and our main venue was provided through the Urban Dream Brokerage who have featured in quite a few projects today. Uh, this photo was taken outside uh, outside the programme launch, Toast to the Written Word. So Urban Dream Brokerage found us an ideal space in the middle of the city directly opposite the Fringe office. Uh, and note the red carpet which we uh, inspirationally borrowed from the Regent Theatre thinking that we needed a bit of pizzazz to jazz things up a bit. Uh, now given the topic of this particular workshop was pleasure and pain writing about sex and sexuality I'm really curious to understand what Karen Healy was actually talking about at this moment in time. Uh, we've also got Laura Burrowdale and uh, who else have we got up there? We've got Karen Healy, Lana Lopez and Laura Burrowdale. So it's interesting that between them they represent some various uh, collaborative organisations which I've run out of time to mention. So one of the best outcomes of the festival is what might be termed cross-pollination, one of those buzzwords. Uh, so in this one we've got uh, poet Chris Z having engaged in conversation with Ridian Thomas. Uh, they're both Wellington based and sort of beltway, beltway things from the Office of the Utility, uh, Office of Auditor General and the Green Party. They got on like a house on fire as you can imagine. The festival is a mixture of readings, panel discussions and workshops and even a book quiz. The Blue Oyster Art Project Space hosted a two-part workshop this year. Uh, this was billed as a conversation about critical art. So we've got Lana Lopesi and Rosabel Tan from Pentagraph Punch here doing a workshop for, uh, for young writers. Uh, one of my favourite events from this year was the High School Poetry Slam. I just loved how the students just totally organised this themselves. Uh, through to the judging, organising the prizes. It was a warm, supportive audience. Uh, I was really intrigued. I used the old beatnik clipping, cl uh, clicking fingers sign of appreciation. Uh, and my favourite speaker was a young man who juxtaposed Karl Marx's manifesto with Winnie the Pooh. That was choice. <laughs> uh, New Zealand writer and Snapchat star Tom Sainsbury is hosting the great fan fiction saloon in this photograph. Uh, his own fan fiction was featuring uh, the Game of Thrones White Walker, who had a zombie man crush on the King of the Night. Uh, Rudy and Thomas, honourable mention, his fan fiction was called Waiting for Godot to Come. Diary of the Call Girl, which featured John Key unable to eject, oh, sorry, John Key, I say, unable to eject late and blaming the Labour Party for his uh, impotence. Uh, where to next for the festival? Probably best to ask this man. Don't know where you'd find him. Uh, so he has curated the festival, and uh, just very quickly, I'd like to thank our sponsors for uh, this year, who were the Otago Community Trust, the Sargood Bequest, and Creative New Zealand. Kia ora.